Yo, 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 everybody, Toxic You here bringing you something new. This is going to be one of my many videos in the series. In this series, I plan on describing all of the functionalities of each component that relates to computers. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. With that being said, what better place to start than CPU data width? I'm sure the question has lurked in your brain once or twice. What is data width? There are actually three types of data width, external, internal, and address data width. External data width deals with the communication between the outside world and your CPU. Your CPU transfers the information in bits. Unlike USB and SATA drives, CPUs transfer multiple bits of data at one time. Most CPUs are 64-bit, which means they send or receive 64 on and off signals during a clock cycle. Internal data deals with moving data internally. CPU's internal data describes how much data Data it can perform at a time. Higher processor widths can accomplish more at a time. Last but not least, address data width. Address data width determines how much memory can be accessed. Processors with 20-bit addresses were limited to 1 megabyte of memory. 32-bit processors are able to access 4 gigabytes of total memory. 64-bit processors are capable of accessing 16 exabytes or 1,073,741,824 gigabytes. Now you know the difference between a 32-bit and a 64-bit computer. Like I said before, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more. It's been Toxic You.